Hey you guys, it's me. It's been a good little while since I have done a video and I wanted to say hi to you guys and let you guys know what's been going on with me since you've last seen me on YouTube. So, um, what's new? Let me see. Um, nothing really. <laughs> the only thing new is um, I am learning to sew. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, hmm, what else? My birthday is coming up uh, in a week and a half or so. It's on April 26th, if you want to know. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I am loving my natural hair journey. I went ahead and did a um, roller set last night. I did the same technique that I did in my previous video. How I, I think the video is called How I Roller Set My Natural Hair Without heat or something like that I'll leave the link somewhere in this video so you guys can go check that out if you want to know how I obtained my curls if you follow me on Instagram I did a 30 day weight loss or 30 day challenge it really wasn't a weight loss challenge it was more about fitness and health um, each girl or gal um, pick their own individual goals. Some people want to lose weight. Some people just want to eat healthy. Some people want to lose inches. Whatever your goal is, that is what you're going to set out to do. For me personally, I wanted um, better eating habits and I wanted to lose inches. Um, lose a few pounds, but more inches than pounds. And my problem areas is my upper back or was my upper back I was unhappy with my arms, um, mainly shoulder area and upper arms, and my lower abdomen. Everything else was fine. I wanted to keep my ass. I wanted to keep my legs, including my thighs. Uh, I wanted to keep my hips. My lower back is fine. Everything else is good over here, just those areas. So what I did was went ahead and purchased a Zumba Wii. No, a wee from GameStop. And then I went ahead and purchased, while I was also there, the Zumba Core to focus on my core. And also, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I tried Zumba before and I hated it. It was horrible. I'm thinking, who the hell can do this? Somebody's on speed or something. But I like that I have the option to do it in my home because I can learn the steps and get the rhythm and all of that stuff. I'm an excellent dancer. You can't show me shit when it comes to dancing. But this, I just felt like it needs to... What are the dances? Going into a Zoom class for the first time and you've never done it before, you're like... What the heck is she doing? What? Wait a minute. Show me that. Huh? That's how I felt. But now I got the hang of it. And I also went ahead and got this. This is Julian Michaels Fitness Ultimate 2010. Um, both of these are pre-owned. This is from GameStop. This is from Roses. This was like $30, I think. And this was like $10. And then the unit was pre-owned as well. And I think the unit was like $80. So, I've been doing those. Also, I've been doing my Billy's Boot Camp. This is three of the DVDs. And I think I have maybe five or six total. And it also came with resistance bands. I don't eat beef. I don't eat pork. I don't fry food. But my problem is laying in bed at night and I'm snacking. Uh, chili cheese. Fritos, Funyuns, uh, Almond Joy, that is my freaking problem. It's those little snacks. So, doing the challenge, I learned to watch what I eat and cut back. In addition to the 30-day challenge, I also did a three-day diet. It was this past Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And... The, your meal consisted of certain items for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you had to follow that meal 
routine you could not eat anything outside of those three meals for three days that was so hard and it really really showed me that I do not need to snack as much as I do if I do need to eat lunch or eat breakfast I can eat a boiled egg with five saltine crackers and two ounces of cheese or I can eat one piece of wheat toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter. It just really brought my horizons to other food options that are out there that I had no idea consisted of a healthy breakfast or healthy lunch or what have you. Also, I am not a tuna lover unless it is tuna fish, um, tuna sushi, tuna a different way but just to open up a can of tuna um, put it on a plate and just eat it I can't do it it's just so that it's just so dry and it's just so nasty to me I just can't do it but with the three-day diet I learned I can put a little bit of mustard on it and it actually tastes delicious so I'm going to stack up on some cans of tuna. That is going to be my go-to snack meal for lunch, especially after my workouts. I want to share with you guys some items that I purchased. I went ahead and received my newest My Glam or Ipsy, um, Ipsy bag. And I wanted to go ahead and go over what's in the bag. First thing is I have Mica or Mika. This is a uh, shimmer powder in the color Earth. It is a bronzy, iridescent color. I haven't opened it yet, so I can't do a swatch, unfortunately. But I will definitely be using this as a eyeshadow or maybe even um, a bronzer. Depends on how dark it is. But I think this is probably a full size. It looks like it could be a full size. Um, I received a sample of Sexy Hair Soul Renewal. This is a styling treatment. I can use it on my dry hair to control frizz. Or I can use it on my damp hair to speed up the blow drying process. I'll probably just use this. Um, on my dry hair to control frizz because I don't blow dry my hair. I receive the a bombshell beach please blush. I'm actually wearing the blush now. It is a gorgeous hot pink you guys. Look how juicy this blush is. It is so freaking pretty. And I put a little bit on. I hope you guys can see it. But I'm glad that I got this because I threw out all of my other blushes that I've had. After a few months, I just go ahead and toss everything. Back to MAC, of course. But I'm glad that I got this because I needed some more blush. And the last thing that I have is Sasha Nail Lacar. And it is this pink color. Um, it's a little boring. It's a little dull. I probably just put this on my toes. It's blah. I would say give it to my grandmother, but she probably look at me like, what am I supposed to do with this? She loves her blue nails and her gold and silver. She doesn't really wear blah colors like this. I wish they would have gave me a hot pink or something, but $10 for the whole bag. It's a pretty good deal and each month they change out the color of the bag um, so it may be a um, red metallic or silver so if you want to swatch out your or swap out your cosmetic bag to match your purse you can do that because they give you a different color varieties and choices but like I said, it's $10 a month. It's a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. And this is my Ipsy bag. Also, I went ahead and purchased something from Sephora. It's my birthday month. My birthday is April 26th, by the way. I went ahead and picked up my birthday gift from them. And it is benefits mascara along with their highlighter and the highlighter is what's up 
mascara I can I purchase my mascara from Dollar Tree anything works for me I have long lashes luckily so I don't have to get department store mascara and break the bank just for some freaking mascara but I'm not even sure what color mascara they gave me I hope it's black I only use black is black but yeah the mascara and then this is a little highlight they gave me and I have a little bit of the highlighter on now uh, while I was there and I want to take advantage of their B.I.B. sale which I believe is 15% off I went ahead and grabbed the original beauty blender I've never experienced the original Beauty Blender, but I do have the Beauty Blender by Sonia Kashuk, I believe. Um, purchased this from Target. This is blue. Just want to say it because I have foundation and crap on it. Um, and I went ahead and picked up the pink. What I noticed right away was the difference in the sponginess of the blenders. The original Beauty Blender is very, very spongy very very soft the Sonia Kashuk or Target Beauty Blender um, it's a little bit more firmer I kind of like the Beauty Blender to be a little bit more firm because I feel like it can blend out a little more without me having to apply so much pressure um, with this like I said it is lighter I've only used it once and that was today I will do a review on these two at a later point so I can really try to determine if there's a difference pros and cons and all of that stuff for you um, while i was also at sephora i went ahead and purchased makeup forever's full cover foundation i'm an nc45 from mac um, this is the number 12 that really doesn't help you guys at all because my girlfriend also is an nc45 from mac and this is too light for her so like I said, everyone's an NC45 from MAC, and it's a lot of people walking around with the wrong shade on their face right now, and I could be one of them. But this is an exact match to my complexion, and it's really creamy, really thick. I don't want to wear a lot of foundation for the spring, summer months. I just want to conceal my slight imperfections. I'm breaking out all over. So this will be good just to hit those spots and blend out and keep it moving with a little bit of their high def powder also by Makeup Fab. That's what I have been up to. Sorry I haven't done a video in a good little while, but uh, a girl's been busy. Really, really busy. 